so it's that time of year snow fairy is back at lush which is always totally awesome now this is my version of a cotton candy perfume and it's not entirely cotton candy there's something kind of bubble gummy about it but what i think about snow fairy is that if you're if you're british you'll probably know what i'm talking about if you remember those foam shrimp sweets so they're kind of like sort of bubble gummy cotton candy-ish like really sweet foam um very sugary sweets that are in the shape of a shrimp and you get the banana versions as well which i also love um this i think smells like the pink shrimp sweets and i absolutely love it now these are more expensive now they're 25 i think they used to be 20 but anyway so these are 25 and what i do with these is i should push that out of the way over there um i just put them i just decant them in something else and actually i wanted to show you this just because i got some of these from sheen uh, i just literally stick a little sticker on so i know what's in there um and you and these just have you know you can unscrew and you can literally directly pour them into a bottle um and then you you know because you don't want to take this in your bag and you know it's, it's a pretty violent sprayer so if you just want to wear it more like a perfume because it's it's pretty it's, it's like an eau de toilette really it's a body spray but the lush body sprays tend to be quite good and the other thing i wanted to mention about lush which is really good is if you buy one of their perfumes and you don't like it you can take it back obviously you can't like use it all and then take it back but I can't tell you how many times I've bought Karma and then had to return it just because I can't wear it because of the patchouli, even though I love the smell. I mean, I, I keep retrying it. I'm officially not trying ever again. But they'll give you, an, if you've got your receipt, you can get a refund uh, or if you just want to exchange it, you can do that. So they're really good in that respect. This is absolutely delicious. This is so sweet and tasty. The notes in Snow Fairy are, they're probably more than this, but what they're shown as and for Grantica cotton candy sweet notes as in like actual sweets cherry vanilla and pear and it's just heaven on earth I'm just going to make sure my microphone's a bit higher um it's just sweet tasty yummy and i've basically just been put spraying this on me all week like i've just been wearing it um in the evenings mainly actually like before bed and stuff because it's just so yummy and cuddly and cozy and sweet and tasty and lush and i also i actually went back and took back my bottle of twilight and said this is really weak compared to my last one i took my empty one back as well and i literally was like can you smell you can really smell it on the sprayer of my old one and i've used the new one a few times and you can't smell it so um they exchanged that for me and the new one is absolutely fine so i think i just had a, a dodgy batch and what the lady explained to me about lush is that um um, they that because they source all of their materials kind of uh, ethically sometimes they can't get them from the same place so occasionally like the ingredients literally are stronger from from one supplier than another so they're really chill about like swapping things um anyway so that's that and before i carry on with the general week I also just have to shout out this new Snow Fairy lip jelly, which I've never seen before, so I think this is new for this year. And oh my goodness, in fact, I'm going to put some on now. It's so lush. Mm. It smells just like Snow Fairy. It's buttery. It's like, it says on top, our magic potion for instant uh, softness, subtle gloss, and sweet bubblegum lips. And that's exactly what it is. Incredibly kissable, just absolutely delicious. So very happy about that. Now, I'm going to get on with it. I'm just going to quickly warn everyone. This is going to be this is a really long video. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about all the things that I sampled in terms of like I literally went in and smelt loads of things. A couple of things in Lush. But because I've got that voucher for John Lewis, I've been like after work because I walk past it pretty much every day. I was like, right, I'm going to go in. I'm going to start actually testing things on my skin, seeing if there's anything I want. And I particularly wanted to test out Maison Margiela replica perfumes because I normally am going to ignore those because they're 50 quid for 30 mil but i love the bottles i love the kind of idea of them so i finally wanted to actually go in and smell them now obviously i don't have the bottles to show you but i will talk through everything i've tried and i'm going to do that at the end of the video so if you anyone who's not interested in that or doesn't like to not have the visuals when you know i'm talking about things you can just switch off but anyway so this week snow fairy just generally all week and oh, i put it on my lips and i instantly want to spray it on myself so delicious but on saturday i wore 
uh, a full day of this guest by Marciano. Now you will have seen this in my autumn winter. It's in the box because I'm still, I need to test it again um, because I think it was a mistake to wear it in the day for one thing. And also I'm pretty sure I'd worn something so sweet um, the day before that this, the sharpness mixed with the sweetness in this, I think just made me feel a bit uncomfortable, but I don't think I'm gonna feel like that all the time because like when I smell it from the bottle, there's something so weirdly nice about this. Even though, like I said in that video, it smells like plastic dolls, like it smells like weird baby dolls. Um, but there's a very sharp alcoholic kind of vibe in the top and then it's got a very kind of creamy, sweet, I don't really know if it, it's not, I don't know if I'd describe it as caramel, it's not necessarily just vanilla. Uh, it's, it's hard to describe this, it's a weird perfume. Um, but the notes in Guess by Marciano are top notes of curacao, um, you know, the blue liqueur, um, star fruit, cardamom, grapefruit, middle notes of honeysuckle, jasmine and peony, base notes, vanilla, musk and woody notes. So I think I do get a little sense of the jasmine when it dries down, which is probably slightly not too comfortable for me, but I really like so many elements of this perfume when you first spray it you get a lot of that kind of fruit it's the grapefruit is really what makes it very sharp and obviously the the curacao is what makes it very alcoholic um so it, it's not like it smells like cheap and cheap alcohol perfume you know when you first spray it and you just get the perfume alcohol the literal alcohol um it has that note of alcohol so it's like that and then it's got the sweetness from honeysuckle. It's got like an aromatic vibe from that car cardamom. And then you've got the kind of creamy mask and creamy vanilla and a bit of wood in the bed. It's um, it's very strange. So I, I'm not, I, I think I'm keeping it for now. I'm gonna try it again. I do think I need to wear it in the evening. I didn't, I didn't feel like this is a daytime perfume for me for some reason. There was something about it that made me think this is something to wear out and about. So like, you know, in the evening on a night out. So I'm gonna keep hold of it for now and then I'm just gonna see how I feel the next time I wear it. Um, and I'm not gonna wear it straight after wearing something ridiculously sweet either. So if I just put it over there. And then, <clears throat> and then in the evening, just like literally late in the evening before I went to bed, because I'd made the little video with this one in with uh, bonbons by Malaysia. Uh, this is milk cake. I made a little video that had this in. So I just put this one on in the evening and they just put in this milk, sugar and vanilla. That's all the notes that they tell you. But this one to me has a ever so slight chocolatey vibe and it has a, a slight caramel, like a soft milky caramelly kind of vibe. Um, it's just very sweet. It's made for children. It's like under a tenner for 50 mil. It's not massively strong, but I mean, it's it's stronger than I thought it was going to be. It lasts longer than I thought it would. It, it's kind of like a three, maybe four hours on my skin. It's quite skin scenty, as you can imagine, um, but it, it's just fun. It's just a fun one. Um, so that was Saturday, Sunday, again, you know, I wasn't lying when I put these things in my video for autumn, winter, because it is what I'm wearing. So stash unspoken, Every, all of the stash stuff is getting way harder to find. Um, so snap it up now before it's gone, which is gonna be an absolute tragedy. Stash unspoken is so warm and tonka bean heavy and delicious. So the notes in this, quince, pink pepper, top notes, um, the middle notes are honeysuckle, peony, wisteria, base notes, tonka bean, sandalwood, musk and olibanum. And you know, yes, there's lots of notes going on. You can get a bit of a sense of the quince and in fact, you can get a bit of a sense for most of what's in this, but it's mainly for me, tonka bean, sandalwood, and maybe a bit of honeysuckle, definitely some musk. But tonka wood and sandalwood, uh, to tonka wood, tonka bean and sandalwood are the main thing I get from this, which is why it's so comforting, so creamy. It's just lovely. I sh the, the quince is just keeping it fresh. It's very sweet. It's very cosy. It's very nice. Um, and I, yeah, I mean, I think, yeah, I wore this one all day. So you can, again, very skin scenty. I think all of the SJP stuff is quite skin scenty. Um, it has a little bit of projection when you first put it on, but it's mainly, I think, for you. And it's very cozy, very comfortable. It's just lush. It's really, really good. Um, yeah, I mean, I could smell it on me for like probably five, six hours, but very subtly on my skin, you know, and then I topped it up. <sighs> 
lovely okay so another sjp so i will cover it so this is the original cover which lots of people think is a very weird perfume and yeah i mean i wouldn't necessarily describe it as weird myself i think marciano is way weirder than this but i know a lot of other people think it's weird so i just had to bow to other people's opinion on this one it's a bit weird but i really like it um so this one is top notes of sicilian lemon lavender dark chocolate perigoli uh, uh, Paragonium leaf, I think is how you say that. Middle notes, lily of the valley, honeysuckle, magnolia. Base notes, musk, cashmere, wood, teak, wood, vetiver, and amber. And I get mainly from this a very heavy dark chocolate in, in a very light perfume. So, like, it's a very light perfume, it's very cozy to me, but I get a lot of chocolate. I can really smell the dark chocolate, and then I can also really smell honeysuckle, lavender and lemon so that lemon and lavender that gives it a lovely kind of um i mean there's a sort of powdery quality to this in a way and it and then there's a real dark chocolate the lemon so kind of stops everything from getting too sweet and then the honeysuckle is obviously a very sweet floral so i just i just find it really comforting i really like it and i'm just going to mention because i went to smell it in lush because it was one of the things on my list i wanted to try out i tested it on my hand they have a perfume called shade and shade is they only list olibanum and sandalwood and then I, I i read about it and everyone was like there's way more going on in this perfume than what they've listed i don't understand why they've listed it because i think that would put a lot of people off i sprayed it on my hand and when it dried down it really reminded me of covert it without the chocolate so looking at the ingredients of shade they have things in it that smell like um citrus fruits they have things in it that smell like lavender they have things in it that are floral and i really really get a sense of honeysuckle in that perfume and then obviously they have the soft wood the soft sandalwood and it's it's very gentle it's very soft it's very comforting and it's a really nice perfume and if i didn't have cover i would have bought a bottle of shade on the spot so i think it's absolutely lovely but i have cover so i don't need it because i've got a big old hundred mil of this beast um so that was tuesday let's see what have we got next oh yes another one i wore all day I wore cover all day as well. Cover's another one. It's kind of skin scenty, you know. It lasts. I reckon I can smell it on myself for like five hours, and then I have to respray it. Um, this is Scentology Vanilla Latte Velvet Woods. Absolutely love it. I'm slowly, you know, coming to terms with the fact that the Scentology perfumes. I mean, I already, I already said in the video, I do think that they are probably dupes of things like i don't know why it took me so realize long to realize that the lice you want is probably a dupe of one of the delinas you know um this one i'm still not entirely sure but i know that there's there's um a perfume called vanilla wood so i don't know if it's that but this is the one that just smells a little it smells quite similar to britney spears um uh, of the original prerogative so it has that kind of coffee kind of creamy slightly caramelly yummy soft very comforting cozy smell it's very very warm and lovely so this one vanilla latte and velvet woods the top notes of coffee bergamot and coconut the heart notes are lily of the valley jasmine and cedarwood the base notes are sandalwood dry wood heliotrope vanilla and musk and you know again it's just one of those things where it's got all these notes i wouldn't have known there was coconut in it except that it's really creamy um heliotrope maybe you'd recognize the vanilla and the musk maybe some sandalwood but this is mainly like creamy coffee if you'd have told me there was caramel in this i would have believed you so yeah it's just really yummy you can get that from boohoo for a tenner and i think you can get it from beauty bay as well for about a tenner for 100 mil this one i reckon i can smell it for about four hours and then i want to respray it it's just it's very tasty so then on thursday i knew i was um hang on my own i can't be where am i i've lost i've lost my way um this must be wednesday yeah this is wednesday so um yeah sunday monday tuesday wednesday <laughs> it doesn't matter does it it's irrelevant anyway so 
Be Happy um, from the Feel Good range from Oriflame. I've talked about this one a few times. Um, absolutely heavenly. Mm, blood orange and sandalwood. Absolutely lush. Now, I knew I was going to be going to John Lewis to test a load of stuff. So I didn't want to wear anything heavy. I wanted to wear something that would have worn off before I left work. So perfect thing to wear because it's quite light. And if I don't respray it, it just kind of disappears after about four hours, um, maybe three. So top notes, blood orange, bergamot, blackcurrant, middle notes, magnolia, turmeric, and peony, base notes, musk, sandalwood, and vanilla. And again, like really a bit of sharpness from the blackcurrant, a beautiful juicy blood orange, sweetened up by that vanilla, a real big dose of turmeric, and a lovely, lovely creamy powdery sandalwood. Absolutely delicious, really lovely, so easy to wear, such a good one. Um, <clears throat> all right, then uh, I know I know I was wearing on this on Thursday because it was date night. <laughs> Oh, God damn, I love this perfume. I absolutely love this perfume. I absolutely love Guest Seductive Red. I think it is so, so easy to wear, so sweet and tasty, but not so sweet that it makes me feel sick. It is absolutely heavenly. It's light enough to kind of go ham with it and really spray it everywhere. It's just so nice. I really love this one. I hope it doesn't get discontinued because if it if it looks like it is, I'm going to have to buy a massive bottle as a backup because um, I just I just wanted to keep respraying it, not because I really needed to, because I didn't actually. Um, I think I put some on my wrist again at lunchtime and then I put it on before I went for our date and then, you know, anyway, and, you know, I topped it up every now and again while I was out just to, you know, be super sweet and tasty. And I, it just is so comfortable and easy to wear. And... Um, as everyone said, it is like the Baccarat Rouge cloud kind of profile, but it's very obviously to me cherry and almond. So it's just so delicious. It's so lovely. It's nowhere near as sweet as cloud. Um, it's just lush. I love it. So the notes in this one, top notes, cherry, almond, pink, pepper, middle notes, cherry, blossom, magnolia, violet, base notes, vanilla, tonka bean and sandalwood. So yeah, an absolute corker that one. Um, I might try to rearrange a little bit before we do the last one because mm -mm. it's just a little bottle okay um so this absolute hammer delicious um all right so we have one that i've had for absolutely ages but i wasn't quite sure <clears throat> if i was going to keep it but i knew i'd want to put it in my autumn uh, autumn winter video so this is Hugo Boss the scent absolute it's got a really cool very dark version of the bottle if you can see I love the bottle it's got a lovely kind of deep it's not even bronze it's kind of brown so the scent intense is one that I've had for ages I've also got private accord and I've got pure accord but I saw the scent absolute for like 25 quid which I thought was a real bargain for one of the Hugo bosses and I just thought it was interesting because I decided I don't really quite like the profile of um what's it called black opium I don't really particularly like the profile of any of the black opiums you know that general black opium smell I think it's because of the patchouli I find it a little bit sickly um, and even though the extreme I think is the nicest one because it's got the cacao in there as well and it's got kind of it's not quite as sweet but it's still it's still got that kind of slight fruitiness with the patchouli and the sweetness and it just it's just a bit cloying to me all of them are so I wanted to try this one because they don't have patchouli in um i think they've got it maybe in la parfum version of the scent for her but they generally don't have any um patchouli in in these the scent perfumes so this is the one that's the strongest in the coffee so that's why i was thinking to myself right let's try absolute so the notes in this are top notes of peach honey middle notes of coffee base notes of vanilla and vetiver now I'll put it out there. I think this is a fabulous perfume, 
but I probably will declutter it just because it's so vanilla forward. It's also very coffee forward. So I wore it to work and um, this is one of the nights where I wore Snow Fairy when I got back. Now this one is insistent. It's much stronger than the other, um, the scent for hers and it's, um, it lasts longer, but it's very, very vanilla strong. It's very strong in the vanilla and I love the coffee in it. The peach is kind of there, but it's not like the main thing. And there's no, you know, there's no patchouli. It's not as cloying as most of the um, black opiums. But because I'm not really much of a fan of vanilla, generally speaking, like, I, I, you know, this one for me has just got too much vanilla. So I don't want to keep it personally, but I would massively recommend it to people who like coffee perfumes, but don't want black opium. So if you're like me and you really don't like patchouli, but unlike me, you quite like vanilla, this is a really, really nice coffee perfume. Like I kind of wish I could wear vanilla eat more easily because I would happily wear this one if that was the case. But I just, I you know, when I smelt it on myself, the more it dried down, the more vanilla there was, the more uncomfortable I felt in it. And I didn't want to respray this one at all. To be fair, I did also then go and try even more <laughs> perfumes because there's only so many bits of my arms I can spray perfumes on, right? So I have to I keep going back to John Lewis. They probably think I'm robbing them. But anyway, <laughs> um, so this one, I, I think it's a lovely, lovely perfume, but it's just not really for me. Um, yeah, so I tried it. I was like, it's beautiful, but I, I will declutter it. But I'm I'm keeping it for now just because I will definitely be putting it into the um to the next autumn winter one I do, which I'm gonna try and film next week. I'm I'm filming this on Saturday. Um hopefully I'll have some time during the week uh and I'll try and put it up on Wednesday night. So the last thing that I can actually show you is I also I think this was on this was on the morning when I wore, yeah, so it was maybe on like Sunday, I think, where I, when I wore un Stash Unspoken, that in the morning before I had my shower, I actually did a wear test of Yes, I Am Glorious. And I'll tell you what, it's not glorious on me. On card, I thought this was okay. I was like, okay, it's kind of nice. It's got that kind of fruitiness, slight sweetness in the base. My God, this went so sharp on me. It was like crazy sharp on me. It did not work at all. I don't know why, but it really smelled dreadful on me. I could not wait to get it off. And what it kind of gave me a vibe of, which you will see my um, review of it because I got a sample of Wanted Girl, the original, which everyone talks about being all lovely caramelly. And I thought it was gonna be sickly sweet, and it, it is, but I thought it was gonna be like, full-on caramel whereas I found it so sharp I found all the fruits in that horribly sharp and then the sweetness utterly cloying and I hated it um and to be fair there's so much patchouli in it that I I realized now I was never going to like that one but this one on my skin reminded me of that all of the peach in it is so sharp compared to like the weird sweetness in the base and it just made me feel sick i really i couldn't get on with it at all i don't i don't like yes i am glorious but yeah i mean again that's probably my skin chemistry because realistically i um <clears throat> i thought it was nice on card i really did think it smelled quite good on card doesn't smell good on me absolute trash on me um so the notes in i am glorious though are peach and mandarin in the top mill notes frangipani tiari flower and magnolia base notes milk sweet notes sandalwood and white cedar extract it just didn't work on me the peach was so sour and sharp and just horrible when it was mixed with that kind of milky milkshake vibe in the base and it does say milk and sweet notes but actually on the card it says milkshake so yeah that one's not for me. Now, you're, this is the time to switch off if you don't want to listen to stuff that you can't see. <laughs> so I went and tested loads of stuff and I've started off with Maison Martin Margiela, their replica perfumes. So the first one I sniffed was Coffee Break. Now that's the one that I was looking at and I was like, I reckon I'm gonna really like that, even though there's patchouli in it. So the notes of Coffee Break are top notes of pepper, orange blossom and patchouli, middle notes, lavender coffee, milk, tonka bean, cyan benzoin, cypriol oil, 
um, vanilla, oh, the base notes, vanilla, cedar, and vetiver. And I was like, okay, it sounds really good. Everyone's talking about how creamy and yummy it is and the lavender's quite strong and it's so good and blah, blah, blah. I was like, okay, I'm going to go and look at that. I sprayed that and I was literally like, oh, well, this is my Vera Wang embrace. This is my lavender, my French lavender and tuberose um, Vera Wang embrace perfume, the one that you guys have probably seen many times because I wear it quite a lot and I absolutely am obsessed with it. And coffee break smells just like that I was like no way okay I don't need coffee break then because it already smells the same so I, I then went and had a look at Fragrantica and all the details because I thought oh I wonder if all the embrace perfumes are um like dupes of more expensive perfumes but no Vera Wang embrace Ch lavender and tuberose came out before coffee break so Vera Wang did it first and she did it cheaper and if so so basically if you've got your heart set on coffee break by Maison Margiela then you can get instead because it honestly smells so similar um Vera Wang Embrace Lavender and Tuberose and you can get that for £15 for 30ml whereas it's £51 for 30ml of Coffee Break um and Coffee Break it does say coffee but to me as soon as I smell it it smells like chocolate and there's cacao in um, the Vera Wang one. So they're, they're just so similar. I couldn't believe it. Anyway, so I was like, well, I don't need that one, obviously, because I have two backups of that one, uh, of my Vera Wang. I love it so much. So I've got three bottles of that. Um, so then I went to the next one, which I really wanted to try, which is By the Fireplace. And the notes in this are top notes of cloves, pink pepper, orange blossom, middle notes of chestnut, guyac wood, and juniper base notes of vanilla, Peru balsam and cashmerian. Now I thought this one was quite nice, it's very smoky when you first spray it and you get that kind of chestnutty woodiness and I thought it was quite nice but the longer it was on my skin the more sickly I found it because the vanilla in it is very strong. Um, it just became a bit cloying. I just really didn't, after a while, I really didn't like how it smelled. It was just fun. Again, like if you like vanilla, then it's interesting. It's a, it's a pretty perfume and it is, it's got that lovely kind of autumnal wintry feel about it. Really nice. But the vanilla in it was just way too much for me. Um, so that was on one of my arms and then my hand. That was those two. And then on the other side, I had Whispers in the Library. So whispers in the library, the notes, the only notes here shown are vanilla, woody notes, pepper and cedar. But I have a feeling that maybe there's other things going on in this one. I'm just going to try and, um, I can't see. I feel like there's maybe some kind of paper or, because it does actually smell a bit like a library, <laughs> in it, like an old library. So my feelings about this one is that even ignoring what it smells like, it's incredibly light. It's so light that you can hardly smell it. And by the time I'd left that shop, I was struggling to find the place on my arm where I'd sprayed it. I mean, it was that fleeting. And I know I had other things on, but like when I've really got my hand, my, my arm up to my face, I should be able to smell it. It was very, very hard to smell it. But on the card, I can tell you, um, it has a weird vibe of like an old school perfume to me. It's almost like, I think, I think it's ambery a little bit. Um, it smells, I'd say like almost like Jovan Musky. It almost smells like someone wearing, let's say like someone wearing Chanel number no. five, sitting in an old library surrounded by old wooden beams and books. It kind of smells like that. There is a sweetness in it from that vanilla, but it's not sickly sweet the way that I found by the fireplace. So if it was stronger, I think I'd have liked it because I think it got nicer the more it dried down. I think that kind of old school aldehydic perfumey type smell kind of dis dissipated a little bit when it dried down. Um, and I did, I did smell it quite a lot when I first put it on and I smelled it on the card and I thought, oh, this is nice. But it just, the longevity is appalling and not oh, spending 50 quid. Even a voucher, I wouldn't spend 50 quid on something that went that quickly. It's just too much money for the quality. So no to that one. Um, now, Autumn Vibes was the other one that I sprayed on my hand. And yes, when you first spray it, it smells like burning cedar, like actually 
wood on fire and very smoky very burnt like blackened and burnt but the more it dries down the more you get the kind of cardamony nutmeggy and it says maple but i wonder if it's maple syrup <laughs> Because there is a lovely, slightly gently syrupy sweetness the more this dries down. So it had a very... When I sprayed this on my hand, it had a very strange smell. First it smelled like burning cedar. And then it started to smell like slightly sweaty skin. And my, I, I realise I put it on my skin, but it didn't smell like that before. It brought something out that had like a, a sort of sweaty man skin smell about it but very briefly and then it carried on drying down and it just became kind of more and more autumnal pretty warm and lovely um again it's not i don't think it's when it's dried down i'm like okay it's still got too much burnt cedar in it for me um but i think it's much nicer as it dries down i still wouldn't want a whole bottle of it I don't need that perfume but I think it's quite an interesting one um, I quite liked it so then oh the notes in it are top notes of cardamom pink pepper middle notes nutmeg maple and carrot seed and base notes of cedar and moss so that one I really didn't like it when I first sprayed it but then I think it got nicer as opposed to by the fireplace which I really liked when I first sprayed it and then it got increasingly unpleasant so um, and then, then, and then the next time I went into John Lewis this week, I tested out Jazz Club by, by um, from Rep Club by Maison Margiela. And that one, I kind of thought already it was going to be too, um, what's the word for me, too masculine. And it is because it's very smoky, incredibly, incredibly smoky. So the notes here, top notes, pink pepper, neroli and lemon, middle notes, rum, java, vetiver, oil and clary sage. Base notes, tobacco leaf, vanilla bean and styrax but i have a feeling it's literally cigars and cigar smoke when you look at the notes on their on their own website and it does but it really does smell like an old club it smells like an old jazz club the way they used to smell when you could still smoke in them um and i'm old enough to remember kind of london soho jazz clubs when you could still smoke there um and that's exactly, I mean, I literally, I sprayed it and it made me smile because my, um, one of my exes was literally a, a jazz pianist. So I went to clubs like that for a while and it just made me smile. It just absolutely made me smile. <laughs> I was like, yeah, they've really captured it. They've really captured it, but probably better on a man because I was very aware of how smoky it was. And I felt like I smelled like cigarettes. Well, or more specifically, I smelled like cigars all the way home, which is not something I'm a fan of. So I wasn't keen on that. <clears throat> and then the, then the other thing I tried in, um, John Lewis and the only reason this caught my eye is because I think it, it's a really cool bottle the bottle looks like um like a hip flask or something uh but it was Ralph Lauren it's Ralph Lauren woman which I've never seen before and I was like I'm gonna go and have a look at that I just smelt the cap and I was like damn that smells really good so I spread it on my arm the top notes in this one are pear blackcurrant and rhubarb middle notes are tuberose orange blossom and turkish rose and Base notes are hazelnut, sandalwood, and woody notes. And I mainly got the tuberose mixed with those fruits in the top when I first sprayed it. And I was absolutely head over heels in love. I was like, my God, this smells so lovely. This is such a good tuberose perfume. Um, so I wandered around a bit and I was I went and sniffed. I didn't actually test them on my skin, but I sniffed a bunch of the Hermes perfume. So I smelt all the Twilly ones and I was like, mm, none of them smell particularly interesting or original to me. I was like, whatever. I smelt um, some of the Le Jardin ones. I mean, I know what most of those smell like, but I was thinking, am I going to spend 50 quid on one? And I like them. But again, they're just so light. I'm just like, I want some I want more bang for my buck at this time of year. So I was wandering around, I kept smelling my arm, I was walking around with a, with a bottle of, you know, a box with a bottle of um, Ralph Lauren woman and thinking maybe this is the one I'm going to buy and then she, she told me how much it was, so it didn't have a thing and it was £72 and I was like, that's a ridiculous amount of money for a Ralph Lauren perfume. So I went and put it back but I, 
I took a little photo of the box thinking I might want to find this for cheaper. I mean, it obviously is cheaper everywhere else. Um, but sadly, the more it dried down, the more animalic it became weirdly, which is strange because it doesn't list having musk, but it definitely got a bit animalic. The tuberose got a little bit powdery and buttery and the hazelnuts and wood started to really come through and really bother me um, and it had lost all of that kind of fruitiness that it had in the top so I'm glad I didn't buy it because the longer it was on the more uncomfortable it became I loved it for like the first 10 minutes absolutely loved it but then the more it dried down the more it smelled like um, you know like Kim Kardashian her original perfume that one that's like gardenia and tuberose and has a real buttery powdery vibe to it very very animalic um so yeah that that it yeah that one wasn't for me in in the end but it was very beautiful for the first I reckon 10 20 minutes that was gorgeous so then the last two on my list I went to test some stuff in Lush because I was like I knew I was gonna get I had to go and get some more snow fairy right I knew it'd come out I knew it was time for snow fairy and I also really wanted to smell the turmeric latte perfume because that's a limited edition one it's come out for autumn winter and the notes in this are tonka bean benzoin turmeric and vanilla but um I, there's also a coffee vibe to this it doesn't it's not listed it which is weird but it's called turmeric latte so you can imagine it's creamy and sweet for me too sweet it's just too sweet the vanilla again becomes really dominant and I think it just kind of spoils it for me because at first I quite liked it and then it just became really cloying but as far as lush perfumes go it's it's relatively strong this one it's really quite pretty um again if you like vanilla it wasn't a huge amount off this you know it had this kind of vibe to it in a way but it was slightly more um maybe slightly more medicinal because of that turmeric you know like it's got that kind of it's got a bit of that earthy vibe to it but it's like 30 quid so it's one of their more affordable ones it's 30 pounds for 30 mil and it's a limited edition now if you like the idea of like a really creamy almost slightly coffee flavored turmeric perfume and you don't have a problem with vanilla I think it's really nice it just is too vanilla forward for me again as many things are so that one wasn't for me but I'm really glad I smelt it I think it was quite pretty and then the other one I wanted to smell which is a much more expensive perfume I think it's about 75 or 85 pounds um, from Lush is cardamom coffee now cardamom coffee is expensive because it's got oud in it um, and it's also got one of the most beautiful coffee notes I've smelled in a perfume. A very realistic black coffee smell. But the oud becomes a bit too powerful for me in this. So, I mean, obviously you can tell from the name that the notes are going to be cardamom and coffee. But it also has rose, olive tree and oud in it. Agar wood, specifically. And yeah I mean when I first sprayed it I got mainly that coffee and then the cardamom started to come in and the more it dried down the more I got oud so it was just because I'm not really a fan of oud and I I do like some woody perfumes but it tends to be things that are more sandalwood forward you know that kind of thing anything that's kind of creamy powdery oud is just a bit too powerful for me it's too far down that dark wood smell but if you like oud oh my goodness cardamom coffee from Lush is I mean it's special man like it's a really nice perfume it's got such a good black coffee note really really nice and it's not sickeningly sweet it's not like entirely relying on vanilla which is why I struggle so much to find good coffee perfumes they really seem to really really focus on vanilla and I don't want that I want something that's more latte like I want something that has a little bit of sweetness but I want like a creamy milky coffee or a dark black coffee without all the vanilla so I'm still hunting for my perfect proper coffee I've got you know this this one Scentology that's got coffee in it but it's very very light you wouldn't really I don't think you'd recognize it particularly but I will find one eventually I'm gonna try some others because like I said I'm gonna ask for some sample sets for Christmas and I've got my eye on a few that I just want to sniff but I don't want to buy full bottles of and you can't kind of smell anywhere you know there's nowhere I can go to actually sniff them even in London so 
yeah um that was most of my testing i'm not going to go into all the other million things that i that i smell in lush because i smell pretty much every perfume and body spray they have but i am still very much the same i don't like most of them i wouldn't wear most of them but i love the comforter i love snow fairy um i really loved that shade one i love karma and if i could wear it i would and i think both cardamom coffee and turmeric latte are both really interesting so those are both really nice perfumes but turmeric latte particularly that's the one to go and grab at the moment if you want something that's kind of a kind of dark autumnal vanillary slightly coffee forward like earthy smell because that's a limited edition it won't be around for long and it's also only 30 pounds you can get it on the website as well um i have got um i've got another perfume from lush that i won't talk about now just because i'll talk to you about it the next time i wear it so um yeah so that's that's it how long have i done whoa we went over 40 minutes this time so yeah i had a very perfume filled week again and i'm very excited about the fact that i ordered, finally ordered some zara perfumes now i've been into zara i find it really really stressful they've got their they put their perfumes next to where people queue up to like buy their clothes um and then they separate some out into different areas they've never got the ones i wanted to smell so i just ordered some stuff from the website website because I decided to smell some of their dupes um, so I'll make an actual dedicated video to those when they arrive I think there's like a Killian love don't be shy dupe and there's roses um, I think it's rosy for me rosy roses greedy maybe it's called um, so yeah I just wanted to smell some of the stuff that's a that's a dupe for some of the much more expensive perfumes because I don't really want to buy the expensive perfumes so I thought it'd be really fun I will do that video as soon as possible but not before I've done my next and my final uh, autumn winter where I've got my woody perfumes and my chocolatey perfumes and ooh, all the delicious really ones that I wear when it actually properly starts getting cold <laughs> 